Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome back. Today, we got the Lord Tachanka, or I guess I don't even know if he's still called the Lord at this point, but the reworked Tachanka Operator Guide. So this video is absolutely going to be money for all of you guys that don't know about the new Tachanka rework. He is actually quite viable from my experience so far. He's very close to an operator like Smoke, just easier to control as in the weaponry. Now I'm going to compare the two of them later in this video, but we're going to go over the loadout, which is now his turret, and of course his gadget, and then play styles that you can associate with Tachanka. So if you guys are ready for this guide, leave a like because honestly at this point, that's the only way to get views anymore on YouTube. So if you leave a like, more people will see this video and I appreciate it a lot. So let's get right into this video, starting out with the loadout of the new Chichanka. So you get the choice between the DP-27, which is the new weapon, but it's really just his turret, but you get to actually hold it. So you're going to want to pick that one most of the time, but the 9x19 is also a choice here. So the 919, that is Capkin's weapon if you don't know. So that's a pretty good weapon. It's just it doesn't really compete with the DP-27 due to the high damage of it. So I'm not going to talk about the 9x19 in this one, but the DP-27 is quite an interesting weapon. The damage is quite high at 48, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't help really change anything because it still takes three bullets to kill anyways. Obviously, bullet drop off and stuff, it's still advantageous to have more damage. However, it's not like super overpowered or anything like that. So you're stuck on the attachment all you get the choice of is the built-in scope so you're going to want to go with that obviously and then you get 48 damage 550 fire rate as of right now of course that could change but for now it feels like it really is a slow fire rate but you can tell that it is a very powerful weapon especially since you can make rotation holes with it kind of as for your secondary it's pretty simple pmm or gsh honestly the pmm is my go-to here higher damage probably the better choice there with pistols and then barbed wire is the best gadget here you could also do a proxy any mind but barbed wire works pretty well with the gadget so of course pair the barbed wire with the launcher and you're gonna have a pretty dominant duo there so we're gonna talk about the gadget now since we're on that topic anyways so of course it's called the shumika launcher honestly i'm just gonna refer to it as the launcher but there's also a secondary gadget per se it's kind of like sophia here you have the ability to withstand obviously it's not really a gadget but i thought it would be important to note in this at least that you can withstand which is pretty interesting it makes sense they're just trying to feed into the whole lord thing but as for the shumika launcher and then we are going to get into the play styles with the shumika launcher but for now just the shumika launcher so this launcher is a fire launcher really basically just molotovs flying out of your launcher which to compare it to something i would compare it to capiteo if you know his bolts his fire bolts it's very comparable it lasts a very short amount of time but as of right now without any buffs and tweaks which it will get buffed and tweaked so don't quote me on this forever but we got five five so five in the launcher already ready and then you could reload five more so that's quite a lot at 10 so i see that going down but as i'm making this right now as he's in the test server that is the exact number so if you're trying to make a comparison to someone on defense this is going to be a somewhat supplemental or replacement to smoke very different but pretty much the same there with area denial the only difference is as to chanka you really have to expose yourself a little bit more than with smoke uh, assuming you don't know what i'm going to tell you in the play style part whenever we get into a custom match and it has a lot to do with being creative with the Shumika launcher and being able to bullets off of walls and stuff because they do bounce off of walls. So keep all this in mind whenever we're heading into the custom match, which I think you guys are going to like it. I'm going to show you a few examples on a few very common sites, starting off with bank, but we're going to go through a few maps here, just a few sites, just so you can get a general idea. And I'm going to give you a few easy play styles and easy tips that you guys can literally just take into the game and use, and you will be dominant day one of Tachanka for sure. So guys, as I said, we're going to go into bank first, and I want to show you guys on CCTV in this objective uh, particularly. So as you guys know, you know, I'm going to shoot this open real quick, so it's going to be a little loud. So as you guys know, if you play this game, this is always a place where people want to come in and plant on this objective. So in particular, they want to come in here and they want to plant right here. So a good way to counter this is, of course, smoke and then some other operators. But for the most part, you usually have a mirror here and then they could also get this open as well. But just thinking in terms of that, you know, that this is going to get open. They're going to try to plant somewhere here with a Monty or whatever. You have your barbed wire, right? And then this launcher. So I wanted to show you what this launcher kind of works like. So if you haven't used it at all yet, then 
basically fire, right? Just fire. Lasts a few seconds, not too long, but it does do some serious damage. Now, the big thing with it is this 5-5, uh, five, five, right? Having 10 potential fire launchers that you could shoot out, that's a little bit extreme, and I think that will get nerfed down, but this still stands. But basically, basically we're looking something like that, so I just waste a lot of bullets doing that, but basically the theory here is to not come out here whenever you hear something coming and go like this right that's that's cool and all but the safer way and the better way specifically is you playing this mirror or if you don't you just know if someone's in there and you ricochet off right see where that ends up all over the place and then it, and once again you can go there to get the deeper into that corner if you didn't see how powerful tachanka was now you definitely have to see it at this point because the ability to ricochet off is where it really puts it over the edge for me because honestly i could be over here shooting up and it'll come up down there so it's just honestly so good for area denial whenever the sites are like set up like this where it's just like two doors basically the only way to come in is this way and it's usually this way anyways so that's just one example of many i have for you guys i just want to set you guys up for success whenever you are playing this new operator this is just one very simple example and i'm going to give you guys some more but just think in terms of this one door if it's a very common chokehold, this is a great place for tachanka and this is just the perfect one because well you can shoot through here boom all right, so very similarly to bank, we have, uh, of course, organs. So the the downstairs here is, there's really two ways to attack this site. At least the ones I see. I mean, there's other ways to do it. I mean, sometimes freezer rushes, or sometimes people even like to go to the hatches, which by the way, this weapon is a tank whenever you go through hatches. But for the most part, you're talking construction, back of these stairs, and then of course, sometimes, just sometimes you're gonna hatch push, freezer push, whatever. But I'm just talking probability wise, you're either gonna see a lot of action there or a lot of action there. And this all depends on your rank, but uh, obviously in most ranks, it's pretty similar. And especially in lower ranks, I see this a lot. Even like if I play casual, which is usually like against lower ranked players, this is the main push point here. It's through here. So a potential setup that I think would work tremendously in completely neutralizing this push at all they wouldn't even be able to do it at all. You would need a buddy with a shield here. So you want to play this similarly to how you would play if you were smoke, but it's just better with Tachanka in this case. And I think it's better for a lot of reasons, but the main reason is you just have more firepower really at the end of the day. And so if you have a shield here, that's the real power. You just can't let them get here or else they have free reign into the site. But if you do are able to hold this off, they cannot push into here. That What that means is they can't push any of these walls, which are very popular. So they're gonna have to rotate around, go up here, and if they don't push this way at all, then you simply go through the rotation hole, very simply, and then you're gonna have another rotation hole right around here, maybe. Yep, and then they'll be pushing here, right? So there's two ways that you could defend this in just a simple strategy, such a simple strategy, but yeah. Once you have that though, you're gonna be able to just shoot fire up and it'll be great. They can't push in, they won't be able to really. So as long as you have a shield here, you can do really anything here. You can just peek up and shoot fire over. They're not gonna wanna enter through if you keep doing this. And honestly, if they all take five seconds to decay, I don't know how actually long statistically it is, but it feels like it's about, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe six and a half, seven, somewhere along that line. With 10 of these, you could take up a, a good amount of time there, right? So talking at least 60 seconds. So they're gonna be changing their push to strategy. So if you don't want a, a team to push a specific spot on any single thing, on any single site, you hold it with your Tachanka. It's honestly better than smoke in that situation. As for plant denial, I think smoke is better. But uh, as for situations like this, area denial, I think Tachanka really actually takes it in this one. Don't know about you guys. I want to know your opinion on this, though. I'm only going to show you those two examples because, honestly, that's all you need to get the general gist of how I personally think you should be playing Tachanka. Of course, play however you would like to play it because I don't really care at the end of the day. I'm just trying to help you if you have no idea what to do. But uh, don't be looking like a fool when you play Tachanka. Think area denial for sure just always try to do things in siege that you wouldn't think of otherwise so whatever other people are doing do the complete opposite of it that's why i make all of these masteries is i try to not take anyone else how they play it really i try to just take how i would play it and 
quite frankly, this is what I think it's best for, area of denial in the ways that I showed, especially on the bank. The bank is the perfect example, but you can find examples on every single site, every single map. For example, you can even go upstairs in this one, but you get the gist of it. Area of denial, be unique, don't expose your whole body whenever you're shooting the uh, Shumika launcher, that's a hard one, Shumika launcher. And uh, always stay anchoring your one armor or your one speed three armor so you just gotta be courteous of that but yeah any anywhere you can think of that people push the shumika launcher is good at you know holding them off so however you want to look at it the shumika launcher is a absolute beast please consider using it please consider liking the video please consider subscribing as well i appreciate you all for watching this if you want to see more mastery videos or guides go check out the playlist there's like 30 of them people always ask for new guides but i'm like i i did that already so let's go check them out i'll see you guys in the next one peace out